Hello friends, this is Karnavir Singh here. How are you all doing? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to give custom shapes to any views, you know, like button or text or any image or anything. You know, we used to do this using CA shape layer previously in Swift. Now, in Swift UI, the concept is still the same. You still create the path using that very same code. One or two lines are different. That's it. But the methods are different now and I think it's relatively easier now. And let's see how to do that. First of all, we will create a custom shape here. Let's call it sign shape because I'm going to create a sign like wave. Okay, not exactly sign like, but a simple wave. You can create a sign wave too. You know, the codes are available for this on Stack Overflow and I will also copy the code from there. Okay. Oh, the spelling is wrong. Yeah. It will tell us to add protocol stubs. Yeah. We we'll wait for it and we'll fix it using that. And I'm just going to copy the code here. Okay. And we have two things here. One is graph width and one is amplitude and yeah, that's it. Let's reinvent the code properly and it says that it is missing a return. So we will return the path variable from in here. And in Swift UI, we have to create this a variable because it demands a variable and and because it is asking for path type not UI based path so we will change that to and as you can see the code is available here okay you can search for it you know draw waves between two points with UI based path the code remains same and we don't need these okay like I said some code is different we don't need all of it but we do need to close the path we can do that using path or close sub path and that's it now we can play with this shape play with this shape okay first of all let's see how does this look sign shape that's all you need to do you can call this shape using this and you can change this graph width you know the width between these strides can say you know it's 0.15 let's say 0 0.3 0 0.4 that that's your choice basically yeah and you can change the amplitude to you can change anything that you want okay so now what now if we want this shape on a button or on a text and it, it's easy let's first create a button here action rent hello label text but and let's also give it a background first let's give it a frame okay and let's give it a background color of green and a foreground color of white okay that looks good now to apply this shape to this button all we need to do is call this method dot clip shape and enter that shape in here and as you can see it doesn't look very nice the reason is that it the height the y sorry y position of the shape is at 0 0.50 we will change that we will you know we just want from the very top from almost very top and there you go it looks nice now and of course you can change this to 0.3 or 0.2 or whatever you want and now I'm not saying that I recommend you design your button like this but sometimes clients can ask for this and you'll have to complete their wishes fulfill their wishes so you can 
create your own shape and apply that shape to a button or text anything that you want so that's all for now thank you guys for watching my video please click like and subscribe to my channel and please share this video if you found this useful thank you